Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we're going to discuss why it's so hard to develop stealth aircraft. If you're curious to the answer, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Before we begin, we might question what does the term stealth actually refer to? Stealth is associated to a set of technology, design and production processes, and combat tactics that work together to prevent or minimize detection in order to increase the survivability of an aircraft. In addition, the purpose of stealth isn't always to stay undetected, it's more or less about avoiding being shot down. Here are some examples of the aircraft employing stealth technologies. The F-117 Nighthawk was the first operational aircraft specifically designed around the stealth system. Other examples include the B-2 Spirit, the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 Lightning II, the Chengdu J-20, and the Sukhoi Su-57. In regards to stealth technology, aircraft designers and military aviators have been looking for approaches to avoid radar detection since radar-directed defenses began having an effect on bomber formations during World War II. Many materials in the early jet age were known to absorb rather than reflect radar energy, but they were too heavy and weak to be used in structures. It wasn't until the 60s and 70s that radar signature reduction for manned combat aircraft became possible. Thanks to the invention of materials like carbon fiber composites and high-strength polymers, which had structural strength as well as being transparent or translucent to radar. Moreover, stealth aircraft often have skins made with radiation-absorbent materials, or RAMs. Some of these contain carbon black particles, some contain tiny iron spheres. There are many materials used in RAMs, and some are classified, particularly the materials that specific aircraft use as a radar-absorbent edge treatment over the portions of the aircraft, which is frequently to be seen. More radar absorbent material, or RAM, is often incorporated into a honeycomb or similar structure inside the turbofan intakes. Additionally, the RAM utilized by modern American fighters is critical, as it's been assessed to absorb up to 70 to 80 percent of inbound electromagnetic radiation. However, maintaining that is both costly and time consuming. Part of the immense expense associated with maintaining the F-22 and the F-35. Its inability to control high temperatures is also a problem, as it's been known to hinder the ability of some stealth fighters to maintain supersonic speeds without being destroyed. It can be said that producing a stealth jet or bomber is challenging for a variety of reasons. Not only the complexity of the mathematics and the high cost of RAM, the ability to produce stealth aircraft with extremely tight manufacturing standards is one of the least mentioned but most crucial aspects of being able to construct a large number of them. The process of building a stealth fighter is a lengthy procedure that involves a great deal of expertise as well as some very expensive equipment, because even a tiny gap between body panels might make it more detectable on radar. For instance, the stealthy F-22 Raptor was built with manufacturing tolerances of roughly one ten-thousandth of an inch in the 1990s and 2000s. Even though that was fantastic at the time, holes had to be filled with tapes, caulks, and RAM to keep the plane's stealth profile. The F-35 is supposed to be built with orders of magnitude tighter production tolerances, but it's not uncommon to notice any potential gaps in the aircraft covered by RAM. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.